Hello and welcome to the 17th in our series Key Skills Piecing It Together and today I'm looking at Grumpy Gorilla by Barbara Ahrens. It's in grade one. It's a great fun piece and I'm sure a lot of you are already enjoying playing it. I'd like to draw your attention to just a few things to look out for. For example at the very beginning the composer writes 8VB. This means octava bassa. So we don't play the chords at the pitch they're written. We play them an octave lower. And this goes the whole way through the piece until the last uh, the last bar, which is uh, different, we play that at pitch. Another thing to look out for is the rhythm. This needs to be really snappy the whole way through. It might be a help to clap it initially when you first start learning it, and saying things like grump, pee, grump, pee, grump, pee, grump, pee. And then when you put it into the piece, make sure it's still rubby and snappy. So make sure it doesn't turn into triplets or even duplets. They're always rubby and snappy. And the other thing to look out for is uh, the rests. They need to be really clear. Whenever there is a rest, especially in the right hand, make sure you release straight away. Like for example in bar three. The right hand needs to come off immediately. Later in bar 11, we have these crushed notes or grace notes. When you're first learning these, I would play them exactly together. So play them as a chord. Don't worry about the fact that it sounds a bit odd at first. Later, when you get used to the piece, you can then separate them. Don't try and measure them out. Don't try and find a, a moment in time for that F. Just as the word describes crushed, that those notes are crushed together. Be very careful of the counting from bars 13 to the end. It's easy to get things a little bit out of, out of kilter. So count very carefully. So one and two and three. As I said before, be, be careful of releasing the rest there in bar 14. You'll notice at the end of the piece there's a pedal marking. The composer quite deliberately places this at a moment before we should release the left hand. In other words, she wants the G and D to be caught in the pedal. This is the low G and D down here. She wants that to be caught in the pedal and to last, even when we end up playing this chord. We should still be hearing that G and D. I'll show you what I mean by playing from bar 15. So I put the pedal down before I had released the G and D, and that way it lasted right until the very end of the piece and until I let the pedal go again. The composer actually did write words to this, and I, you'll see them, I'll put them up on the, on the screen here, and I'll try to sing just the very last line, which good fun. <laughs> 